Hello everyone, welcome to my channel My English Book and in this video I am going to explain the summary of Pierce Plowman in English. So I will tell you the summary reason wise. But firstly go through the summary, we will go through the key facts of Pierce Plowman. Now if I talk about the key facts of Pierce Plowman. So the first point we have that it is a middle English allegoric narrative poem. Okay, in this poem, you will find lots of allegory characters. Now, what is allegory characters? Allegory characters are those characters who represent the human quality. Now, if, uh, if I talk about the point number second, this poem is written in unrhymed. It means there is no rhyming scheme of this creation. Now, this creation has eight visions and each vision has some pauses. In uh, pauses, you can also say cantos or maybe steps. So each reason has a number of uh, pauses. Like in reason 1, you will find 4 pauses. And reason 2, you will find 3 pauses. And in reason 3, you will find 5 pauses. So this uh, sorta, this form is divided into reasons. And inside the reason, we have cantos. And you can see pauses also. Now if I talk about point number four. Pierce Plowman is considered by many critics to be one of the greatest work of English literature of Middle Ages. William Langland is the writer of Pierce Plowman and this was his masterpiece. The Pierce Plowman was the greatest work of its. And our main character and our main narrator is Will. Okay, our main protagonist is Will. And here are total 20 pauses or cantos in Pierce Plowman. Now talk about the writing period of Pierce Plowman. It is believed that it was written into three parts. The first part was written in 1362 and the second part was written in 1377 and the third part was written in 1398. So this was the writing period of Pierce Plowman. Now start the summary. Before going through the summary, I would like to tell you one more thing. When I will uh, explain you the summary of the Pierce Plowman, on your screen you will find the characters. Uh, for example, if I am telling you the summary of Vision 1 on your screen, you will find all characters of Vision 1. So let's start the summary. Vision 1. Will is the narrator or main character of Pierce Plowman. And he is wandering the world as a hermit. One day will fall asleep on Malvern Hills. In the dream, Will meets lots of allegory characters. Will sees a very high tower. Truth live at the top of the tower. And the devil live at the bottom of the tower. Will finds himself watching a court possession of a thousand rat. The rat's voice there bitten complains about the local cat who torments them. One day, one rat suggests they tie a bell to the cat's collar so the rats can at least know when the cat is approaching and can keep clear of it. When a bell is brought out, however, none of the rats are willing to risk their safety by being that one to tie it to the cat's collar. A single mouse commands the rats' attention and lectures them about trying to change the status quo. He reminds the rat that even if they manage to tie the bell to the cat's collar or went so far as to kill the cat, another cat is certain to come alone someday to torment them again. Plus, says the mouse, even if the cat were out of the picture, the rats wouldn't be able to effectively rule themselves. The rat disappears and will find himself once again observing the field full of fox, where he meets a beautiful woman whose name is Holy Church. She teaches Will a number of lessons, most of which center of truth, a representation of God as creator of mankind, will desperately wants Holy Church to teach him how to save his soul as well as how to recognize evil. Holy Church points him to a scene where several people are rushing around in preparation for a wedding. The bride to be is a magnificently dressed, and the name of that bride is Mead, Lady Mead. 
who is wrapped in jewels furs and luxurious textiles she also happens to be holy church's greatest enemy as mead is just as well connected with the papacy and has just as much clout as holy church herself holy church says that mead was instructed by god to marry truth but instead mead is trying to marry a man named false and false only love lady mead's money The ceremony is arranged by several of false friends whose names are Favel, Simony, Seville, Liar and the Guile. The name of the fa- uh, false friend are highlighted on your screen you can see. During the ceremony a man named Theology objects demanding Mead and fa- False to go to London to ask Concise if their marriage is just of or if Mead must marry The group travels to London where the king has already been warned about false bad intention behind marrying Maid knowing the king is after them fall and his companions flee, leaving Maid alone at court the king asks Maid if she will take one of his knights consigns for a husband wanting to evade punishment for almost marrying false Maid readily agrees consigns however refuses In front of both Mead and the king concise lists all the reasons why Mead is evil and dangerous. The king tries to make uh, Concise agree to marry Mead by force but Concise is uh, adamant uh, in his refusal. He says uh, he won't even consider marrying Mead unless reason. He says it is the right thing to do. The king tells Concise to find reason and bring him back to the court so the whole situation can be settled. Reason arrives but the king must first see to a legal case between two men and the name of those two persons are peace and wrong. Before dealing with maid in the legal matter, peace accuses wrong of three serious crimes. wrong uh, actually the character of wrong has two lawyer lawyers in vision 1 and the name of his lawyers are wisdom and wit try to wisdom and wit try to buy wrong's way out of punishment but guided by both conscience and reason the king knows that financial payment is not punishment enough then Mid steps in and tries to bribe Peace into dropping the charges which angers the king even more and the king calls for a harsh punishment for wrong and here is the end of vision 1 vision 2 now our character or protagonist will is in his second dream in his second dream He says one by one the seven deadly sins make their confession to repentance the name of seven deadly sins are highlighted on your screen you can see repentance prays for the group's sins suffering a crowd of a thousand people to change their way the crowd searches for truth will drifts back to sleep moment later the sea reason is standing before the people in the but has no idea where to look they ask for direction for the knowledgeable looking pilgrim but much of their dismay he is never even heard of truth now the entry of pierce plowman come in vision 2 remember one thing everyone pierce plowman first time appeared in pauses 5 in pierce plowman so here is the entry of pierce plowman a person named pierce plowman appears claiming to be a dedicated follower of truth as well as a plowman on truth's land peers offers the group direction directions to truth but his directions turn out to be complicated and detailed making the people anxious about making the journey without a guide peers offers to accompany them on the journey with the covet that has half acre of land needs to be plowed before the leave to make the work quick peers assigns task to the people based on their social class although the system runs smoothly as first eventually some people try to fake illness to get out of the working leading peers no choice but to call upon hunger so now a new character come in the story whose name is hunger 
who inflicts the fakers with starvation until they begin to work out of necessity as peer suspects once hunger departs many of people go back to lazing truth sends down then truth sends down a pardon to peers which states that those who help peers work will be able to pass through purgatory quickly there is no mention of those who can work but refuse to but those who genuinely cannot work are fully excused then a priest asks peers for the opportunity to translate the pardon out loud from latin to english as is part of his duties and peers compiles upon reading the pardon for himself the priest is surprised to only see two lines and declare that it is not a pardon whatsoever angry peers rips the pardon into and begin to argue with the priest which stall begins to argue with the priest so here is the end of vision second vision third before going into the vision third there is a situation about will firstly we will discuss the situation will wonders the word and thinking about how penance and pardons are helpful for salvation but that uh, it is better uh, for a christian to avoid sin and do well one day he come across to friars and try to ask them where he can find duval but the friars are arrogant and claim that duval residents permanently with them and their convent will politely excuses himself knowing he will run more uh, by continuing his quest than by listening to the friars now the vision third began now will sleeps and he saw his third vision in third vision and in will's dream a man whose name is thought teaches will about the nature of do well along with two other christian values whose names are do better and do best he says do well engages in honest labor do better helps other and do best rebuts sinners so this was the introduction about do well do better and do best will is still confused about the concept of do well do better and do best so thought suggest he speak with a man whose name is wit now wit explains the value as being people who reside in the heart of a christian do well and do better attend to the soul while do best offers guidance and this entire group is protected by a knight whose name is sir in wit and his five sons the name of his five sons are five senses now will introduce will to his wife study who is openly suspicious of will uh, as she thinks will wants to learn for all the wrong reasons study gives her on explanation of do well which proves to be so hard to follow that even her own husband feels confused study sends will to her cousin whose name is clergy and his wife whose name is scripture who can explain possibly do well in a way that uh, will can understand now will listens to clergy and uh, scriptures explanation about do well do better and do best and now and at this point our main character will falls into dream within dream okay so remember friends here is a new technique begin which is dream within dream now will is watching a dream within dream where he is tempted by a woman whose name is fortune and her two maids the women tempt will into wasting several years of his life changing pleasure however as will grows old fortune and her companions abandon him and will falls into poverty now the character of will is very poor during this time will meets a new character who is trazan and he is a roman emperor he was a non christian saved from the pits of hell by bravery trazan explains to will the value of living a moral loving life of these qualities are what save trazan from hell not allow him to go to heaven even though he was not a christian during his lifetime now will awakes from his dream within dream and he is watching only single dream in and in his dream he met a man whose name is imaginative who answers will question 
about trojan that is how a person who has not been baptized cannot be heaven cutting their discussion short imaginative disappear and will awakes now here is the end of vision 3 reason 4 Will spent several years wandering as a hermit in his strange dreams. One day, Will slips into yet another strange dream. Now, Will is in his vision four. In vision four, he sees that he is invited to a dinner party with conscience, clergy, patience, and scripture, as well as a new character whose name is Master of Divinity. At the feast. the master gluttonously stuffs himself with rich fattening food between two pots of fine wine meanwhile patience and will are only given simple and sour food will ask the master of his explanation about do well do better and do best which turns out to all be centered on obeying the clergy and teaching other people the mood gets tense and will openly criticize the master about his rude behavior at the feast now to change the topic of their conversation concise ask patience about his understanding of do well patience admits his uncertainty explaining that his confusion stems for, from hearing peers plum and claim that the only thing worth pursuing and studying in love patience shares a teaching he learned from someone whose name is love who taught him to love all people including one's enemies through words and good work the master of divinity calls patience a liar claiming that all poor pilgrim are liar standing up for patience concise declare that he has decided to become a pilgrim himself and will travel the world with patience in order to learn and have new experiences both clergy and the master and are a haste clergy even offers to fetch his bible to teach concise all the things patient couldn't possibly know but concise is Adam soon after departing on their journey concise patient and will came across to a man whose name is hawkins immediately will notice that hawkins coat is full of stains hawkins explained uh, about the stains which are available on his coat actually this coat belongs to now hawkins uh, replies that that uh, this coat is belongs to christ and the stains are his own frequent sins all through he is tried to wash the coat many times but it doesn't stay clean for more than a new moments before it saplet hurt with stains again patience patiently instruct hokin to use the combination uh, of conti shun do well do better and do best to launder the coat effectively Now, according to the patient's country, Sean will scrub the scum of, of the coat. Do well, will wash it. Do better, will scrub it and do best. Will ensure the coat always stays clean. Now, Hoki begins to lament, overwhelmed by guilt for his past sins, and here is the end of vision four.